Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Battlespire. We are now officially in the game. And uh, you can see some creatures hanging out over there. You can see that over there. I uh, changed up my controls a little bit. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about that. So, of course you press escape and you have access to this menu. I changed up my controls to, to a basic WSAD uh, scheme there. Uh, there are also things you can do. You can jump, spell book, move. Switch weapon, move up and down when you have to like climb or something. Uh, chats for if you're doing multiplayer, which I don't even think is possible at this time. And uh, yeah, we also have our little map here. So if you want to actually access this stuff that's there right now, if you hold down enter, you can then use your cursor instead of moving around. And you can access your spell book. Let's see, this is uh, the map. This is the inventory, and yeah, we are naked. So, uh, let's put some clothes on. There we go, I think we should just walk around like that, don't you think? <laughs> no. Alright, let's uh, just put on all the stuff we uh, bought at the beginning. Make sure we have a nice sword. We'll put the bow as a secondary weapon. Put the arrows there. So, uh, we have this box that we can put stuff in if we need to, like, kind of organize, which... Uh, a lot to be doing. Like, I know I had a good system going when I first played this game, and I'll probably have to kind of work my way back towards figuring out how to do that this game, but uh, we'll figure it out together. And I actually think I already have uh, armbands on, so I can just drop that. So I'm nice and well equipped here. So it should be good. And you can see my sword. So, uh, in order to attack, just like in the first two uh, official Elder Scrolls game, you hold down the right bu mouse button and s swipe the mouse around. So you swipe it forward, backward, to do all sorts of fun stuff. So let's go check out what's going on over here. What? Man flesh? You talk? What wants it? So yeah, one, you can actually talk to your enemies, and two, there is full voice acting in this game. So, uh, this is the part where, you know, personality might come in handy, that where you can actually uh, talk creatures into joining you or talk them into doing certain things. Imps, or scamps I should say, are uh, more inclined to join you than other creatures because they like joining whoever's strongest. See, tell me you were Yatasha Trinellis, I'll spare your miserable life. So Yatasha Trinellis, she's supposed to meet us here and she's not here. Hmm. Let's see, give me the keys out of this place, so we saw one on the monkey. Tell me how to get out of this place, and I swear by all the gods, you shall go unharmed. Let's just see where the uh, Trino Girly? is. Girly, gone, flesh bit. Oh, that was the wrong answer. And so you can't really do much with this guy. He's just sort of an introduction, so let's kill him. Oh. So the cool thing is, when they die, they drop little baskets, and that has their inventory in it. So instead of uh, bodies, you have these things. Let's see, Iron Grieve. Ah, uh, we want the Iron Grieve more. So this is the key to my little strategy here. Pretty much any enemy you kill is going to have what's called a sigil, a dot sigil, I mean a dot sigil. Uh, now there's another sigil that we're going to be picking up that's actually a key, but most of them are going to look like this. When you use one of these, you actually become ethereal, you become unhittable for a bit, meaning anything goes through you, but it also means that you can't do anything either. However, that will not stop enemies from casting magic spells at you. So whenever an enemy comes across me that starts to uh, cast magic at me, I can either just sit there and die from all the magic, or click this and let them use all their MP on me. There are a ton of these, and I'm going to collect as many as I can, and they I do have this spell on myself, just in case I need it, but mostly I'm going to use these. You just double click it, you use it, and nothing can hit you. Uh, that is going to be how I'm going to get through this game. So there are a couple other imps here. Uh, we're going to use thoughtfully the scam gestures for part. I keep calling it imp. Yeah? You what? How here? You Trinell thing? Rishal what Trinell thing? So Trinell, that woman that we we're trying to meet, and apparently it's our friend from what I remember of the lore here. And he's wondering how we got here in the first place, but who the heck is Rishal? Hmm. If you touch me and die, but join my glorious warband, smite my enemies, and feast forever in the halls of the mighty. Join me, so that's basically says join me. 
Uh, that says, touch not, touch Tunnel, I will shed your skin and feed you steaming, steaming contents. Tunnel's a female, do I look like a female? <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get this guy to join us. And most of the time he does, it's pretty easy. So he starts attacking the other scamp. <laughs> so we'll just leave that alone. Notice that there's a dead body here. And he's got a couple of squirrels next to him, so let's see. What's cool is that if there are items nearby, it'll display all the items instead of just the one you clicked on. So that's useful. So for Mactana Greenwhite Gatekeeper, a few more names for the annals of uh, sizes of entry. Jeez, those are two really funny words put together. I believe these will be the last for today. Let's see, Samar Star Lover, Bastard Serpent Blade, Grand Helfen, Grand Da 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 Fires. So this isn't really useful here, uh, except for Tasha Trunel, that's the one we're looking for. Scribed in an unsteady hand. The Daedra Prince has forced entry. Battlespire is fallen. Lomigan surrendered the portal keys and he was struck down. I saw others taken. Trust no one. The gate home is closed by an invader's sigil. The one way out now is the old Star Galley. Try to guard the anchors, but most were loosed. If you may avenge us, restore the anchors. If you spare free the last anchors and die with our enemies. So these anchors, we'll see these a bit soon. Let's try this one. This is for our friend Vatasha. Sure hope you come through here, I could use the help. We are in so much trouble, all hell's broken loose here. And the gate home's blocked with some sort of damn thing which hurts it to touch a lot. Have a look around, see if you can find anyone alive to talk to. I'm going to try to get a disguise to get out of the, the confusion. I'm trying to remember what the instructor always said. Scout out the land, eliminate your threats, and gather resources. Or search, slaughter, and steal for short. See if you can keep up, we're getting... A real big test, looks like. Batasha. And yeah, not the test we were expecting. Uh, but I want to kill both these guys. Even the one that's on my team, because, uh... Let's see. Oh, there was another scamp just sitting there. Okay. See, so, yeah, they're not going to give us much useful. Bye-bye. Yeah, sorry, buddy. But uh, I want all the sigils I can get. Let's see. Iron longsword, don't need that. And let's grab what's here. So just get all of these. They will be very useful. Hello? For my oath king. Uh, doesn't really talk much. Me friend, speak Tamriyalik, you lack with brute, Tamriyalik, not the animal gibberish. Hurry yourself, see how you like it. Uh, me friend. Yeah, you can't really communicate with this guy. He's just gonna try to kill you. Oh, actually, I think he was fighting for me. I didn't know they could do that. I've never gotten that to happen before. But, uh, I want to kill him anyway. There we go. Of course, open you up and get one of these. A silver cuirass. What am I wearing right now? An elven. So I don't need the silver. Where's that little scamp here? So yeah, I'm going to be looking like I'm walking around like a drunk just because that's kind of how this game works. And you can kind of tell what enemies are nearby by what sounds you hear, like that uh, little cry he did. If you hear that, you know there's a scamp nearby, and uh, there are other enemies with other sounds to make. Alright. So, uh, this is going to be a game where you're going to want to save a lot. So, uh, to save, just hit the save button. What I'd like to do is I'd like to leave this space uh, for the end of each level, because there are times where I go to another level, and it just doesn't feel like I'm ready for it yet, or I missed something in the previous level. So I want to have like something that is sort of an anchor to the beginning of each level. Because uh, if I mess up on a level really, 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 really badly, I can go back to the, uh, the end of the last level, we go to the beginning, and uh, fix it all up. So this is a special one. So anyway, I can just save here, and I'm just going to label it as beginning. If I can. There we go. 
Alright, now let me check the map I have here to see where I want to go. Okay. Now which button was the map button? There it is. So that shows us where we are. I want to go down that path there. And we're right here. Yeah, right now there's just a bunch of scamps to deal with, but uh, there are other more difficult areas. Yeah, don't like- oh, dang it. May need to turn down the mouse sensitivity. And that guy just killed our scamp. See how we uh, cast that spell? Luckily, uh, that spell hit the scamp for us, so I didn't have to worry about that. Yeah, these are uh, actual, like, Daedra people, and uh, I want to kill this guy. But he's running, of course. That's the one annoying thing here. Jumora, there we go, that's what they're called. Get that, and what do we have here? Potion of Cure Health. So I think I want to put that in my box there. And the Silver Short Sword, I can't use short swords. So yeah, that sound just means there's another scamp nearby, but I'm not going to worry about it. Let's pick up this as well. Uh, pants of Broad Force. Let's try those on. Let's have regular pants. We have Pants of Broad Force. Now, there are uh, books that you'll find throughout the thing that tell you what those kinds of things mean, like Broad Force. Uh, I'll probably have to pull that up because uh, it doesn't tell you, like, explain right away what exactly that means. So let me look that up. I'm probably going to have to have that page pulled up here. Uh, all right. Battle Spire. But just know that uh, having uh, clothing with enchantment always beats having clothing with no enchantment. Alright. Spells by enchantments. Let's see what we've got here. So Broad Force renders the power of medium shock damage. Okay, why not? So there's going to be a lot of pausing to reorient myself, but I believe I do know where I am headed here. Okay. So we're about to find something interesting in this room. Oh, hello. Let's see. Potion of Etherealness. That's just the same thing as these guys. Uh, what does this say? I found another of those damn things like the ones which are blocking the rear gate, and the little Daedra went straight by it. I think he got some sort of special charm or something that lets him through. I sure can't get past. Or needs another hint for you. There's a big gem thing just near here. Here's you right up. Boy, was I glad to find it. Batasha. So yeah, Batasha's gonna be leaving us uh, cool little things there. Make sure to grab Cure Health. Always need those. Luckily, I do uh, heal automatically, but that's kind of a slow process. He's going to be for emergency. Hmm. There's supposed to be a room beyond there, but it looks like I need to go around. So yeah, head down this way, and there's, from a, if I remember right, there's going to be a lot of things to kill around here. Tasha Trinel. You have Tasha Trinel. Okay, you don't want to do it. So yeah, some will just like wait to talk to you before they attack you. So, before they attack. Attack. Ow. Yeah, that was a spell from up above. There's something up there that was to kill us. With spells. So let's kill this guy. Oh, well, yeah, when they, some, when they dodge and it catches you off balance, you see that my sword suddenly goes slow. That made that So that's kind of annoying though. But luckily we killed this guy. So, so far so good. I'm actually doing a lot better here. Uh, iron helmet, don't need. Pants, don't need. And if you look uh, here, this is my health. Uh, this is my mana. 
And uh, you can see my health does kind of uh, gradually go up as I just sit here. So that is a very good thing. Uh, so let me uh, save before I hit this guy. So I also like to have another save that I call uh, safe. I'm going to put it right here. This is my safe save where basically I'm at a point where nothing's hurting me. I'm fine. And if I need to uh, take some time to do something else, I can. Or if I need to go back here, if I'm in the middle of a battle, I can't win. I can just go back to my safe save. So this is where I'll put when I'm safe. Hello? Oh, then... Oh. Yeah, see that Dromora up there trying to kill me? But he used up all his MP, so luckily I'm not as... Oh, never mind, I didn't use up all my... He didn't use up all his MP. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, need to be careful there. I remember this guy killing me a lot the first time I played. So, why don't I put that thing to use, unless he's just wanna... I'm just gonna try to kill this guy first. Let's see what happens. Weapon is damaged. Oh crap. Forgot that was a thing. Oh yeah, it does have a condition. I forgot about that. Crap. Oh well. Okay, still gauntlet. I have Elven, so I don't want to worry about that. Bands of Saintly Dervish. The heck is that mean? Let's check it out. Yeah, I actually think that there are some that are named, but they don't actually do anything. They're like just there to trick you. Alright, let me see. Nothing about Saintly Dervish here. What the heck? Yeah, it's not on the list. That's weird. But I might as well put them on since it's something. And of course that. And I may want to wait around a bit to heal up. Oh, there's a little chest here. Might as well use this for the time being. Uh, iron spear. Do not need it. Let's see, yeah, geez, I forgot about the whole weapon thing. Gonna have to look more into that again later. Like seriously, like I completely forgot about that. But this is an Elder Scrolls game and they didn't uh, get rid of that stupid repair thing until number five. All right, I'm gonna do another save for safe here. And usually I cut out my save, but I'm gonna be doing it so much that it'd be a real pain in the butt to try to edit all that out all the time. So let me see if we can just kill this guy right now. I don't know if he used up all his MP, but we'll find out soon enough. Kill the scan. Because if we go up here, we have something really special. This is the thing I was talking about before. Luckily, he's not using magic on me anymore. Alright, got him. Wow, he was a lot more trouble the first time I played, but probably because I didn't do my stats quite right. Iron Dagger of the Hunt. Don't need that. So we'll take the sigil amulet dot sigil. So that's good that we got him. And then hit you for another sigil. Uh, what are you? Iron boot. You've got dwarven boots, so we're good. Cog of fang interleaving. So these are going to be important. You're going to want to find these cogs here. Uh, steel crossbow. Nah. Yeah, we don't want to pick up any long swords I find now. So there's some special things in some levels. So this is jewel just floating here. What happens if I click on it? Okay, that one didn't show anything, but uh, I promise they're useful. I click on this one. My health is fully restored. These jewels, it looks like they disappeared and they're gone forever, but they actually do reappear. So you'll want to make note of this room right here. If you need healing desperately you come back here of course i do have my auto healing and there's actually one level that doesn't have any of those and that level can be tough because if you run out of healing potions don't have any healing spells then uh yeah you are pretty screwed oh, hello little scamp there let's uh, see about you where'd you go oh, uh, 
Alright, and there's a chest here too. So let's get your sigil. And open the chest. Just steel boots that we don't need. I didn't go before. All right. Uh, anything else up here that I missed? But yeah. See, these things reappear pretty quickly, so that's good news. Uh, nothing much. So, yeah, we did want to come here to get one of those cogs, and so now that I've got that, let me just fill out the map here because I've got to fill out the map, of course. Alright, now, where am I going next? Let me check my map here. Okay, I know where I'm going. Because basically I have a map that just is labeled, you know, A, B, C, D. Here's, you know, the places you want to go. Although, yeah, that's that white place where we entered. You try to go back in there, it pretty much takes a huge chunk out of your health. So don't do that. Uh, where does this lead? To a scamp who does not want to mess with us, but we're going to mess with him because we want your sigil. Looks like I'm already improving. A sea iron war axe, dear silver javelin, do not need. Hmm. Let's take a look. Know that this is one of the five great anchors that moor the battle spire in its place and retain it as in the lifeblood of his standing mana, without which there would be no light, no life, no being. In their overreaching wisdom, the administration has required me against my every protest and complaint to affix it to a dreadful device which you see before you, whose purpose is to sunder and divide this anchor and, imper and imperil the spire and all who inhabit it. Never divide the anchor. It is the rock upon which all our lives are founded. All anchors must be conjoined to assure the safety and stability of the spire. Above all, never, never, never allow them all to be unloosed. Sure destruction shall follow as the battle spire departs the flux that keeps all sides of nature in unity. Now avaunt and quit this chamber, lest the imp of temptation or some unhappy humor overcome you, lead you on to the path of certain annihilation, CV. So yeah. Oh, whoops. So, uh, these are anchors here. Actually, I want to see if I can turn that thing back on, because it looks like it's off. <laughs> Let's re-anchor this thing. Yeah, so this thing is whole, whole uh, building, this battle spot is floating. And, uh, spoiler alert, if you decide to undo all the anchors, you die. Because this whole thing crashes down. I, I guess it would stop the bad guys, but at what cost? Alright, let's see where I want to go next. Let's see. Go on this way. Hello. Like that. And let's check where I am. Really? Okay, I'm going the right way. And uh, let me save again to show that I am safe. And there will be other ones where I'll do, like, where if I'm in the middle of a battle, and I think I have a chance of winning, but also I'm, like, really scared, I'll put one that's called, like, battle or unsafe, which pretty much says if I die, I can go back to there and go right back to the middle of the battle and try again. And if the battle really, really isn't going well, then that's when I hit uh, my safe file and see what I can do. See, here's another anchor. Let's anchor that back on. Just in case we don't want anything bad to happen, and uh, oh, we've got some arrows. Iron dagger, steel short bow. Ah, uh, should be fine. At some point, I should start using my bow and arrow, but uh, that's not something I did in my last game. I didn't. I almost never used a bow in my last. Uh, play of this game, but I do believe they can be useful. Like, I remember reading somewhere they can be useful. Alright, oh yeah, this room is fun. This is a fun one. Uh, if I can open it... Maybe I can't. Okay, is there another... Hmm. 
looks like I can't get into that from here. Let me double check. Yeah. All right, so I can't get in there. But I do did see what it looked like so looks like on my map, and so uh, that'll be an interesting place to go. So where do I want to go from here then? Let me check something. All right. Let's see, is this from something I killed? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So let's try it this way. Oh boy. Um. Where am I? Oh, I don't want to be there. Crap. So I do want to get into that room there. One moment while I figure this out. Alright, we'll just skip that room for now. We will need to go in there, but it uh, doesn't look like I have the ability. I might have to go in another way. Because, like, the map says that's the next place to go, but I can't. So let's try something else here. Okay, we've got this room here. And I'm gonna, there's a little button here. I'm gonna put it at a little danger save here. So let's label this one Danger. Because Oh, gotta get out of that. Push the button and uh, this bad boy comes up. And uh wanna be careful here. There's another button over there. Lift that up. And if you want to risk jumping, you can do it, but I'm not going to do that right now. But uh, there will be jumping later on. And yeah, if you fall into the lava, that's pretty much death. So don't! And then I believe if I want to get up there... Uh, where is that button? Oh, what the heck? What happened? Oh, did I... Oh, crap. Okay. And that's what happens if you die. Okay, I made it up, jeez. Yeah, that... That's why I had my uh, danger save there. Alright, let's see what you've got. A bat, some arrows... Oh, here we go. This is what you, what you were looking for. It looks exactly like other sigils, so you might miss it, but there's a sigil of entry here that you can use to get past some things. Uh, that actually might be the key to that door, though. I'm not completely sure. Alright. So yeah, if you notice any, any creature that has two sigils, then uh, you're probably going to want to pick at least one of them up, because it's going to be a key. Alright, let's see. Grand Force. Let's check that one here. There's a lot of these things here. There's like over a hundred. Ranforce casts the spell of major shock damage. So we can use that to cast a spell. I'll just put it on. Why not? 
So these are kind of like uh, the items in other Elder Scrolls games where you can, with the earlier Elder Scrolls games, you can just kind of use them. But yeah, where I want to be is down here. That's the tough part. And another cog wheel, which you were gonna want. There's a mace on the floor that I don't need. Let's see, steel pauldron, iron greave. Let's see, uh, stuff is still in good condition. I'm not gonna worry too much about it for now. Hmm. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just end the episode off here while I'm still getting my bearings. But can I find my way into that room? And can I find my way out of here to get some help. Well, uh, let's see what we can do next time on Let's Play Battlespire. Thank you for watching and have a good day.